punto, un, punto, un, punto, Mad liberator, death operator, rock the data, amazing flavor, yo, the way out what it is, you know, they know what it is, they know, y'all know what it is, you know, here it is, what it is, you know, we know what it is, they know, y'all know what it is, you know, here it is. My name is Rashawn Miller. I'm the founder and executive director of Eustress Inc., which is a nonprofit aiming to raise awareness about mental health in minority communities how to manage your stresses before they take control over you. So I personally ended up in a mental health hospital because I wasn't able to manage my stressors. And once I got there, I actually had to end up in a straight jacket. Did anybody know what a straight jacket is for? Yeah. What's a straight jacket used for? Our people don't know where to get the help from. Culturally competent care is one of the main focuses, actually providing counselors for them, because a lot of times we want to break down those barriers so people can address their mental health issues and so they can live their best life. So with bipolar disorder, I have high highs, so I feel very happy at times. But then I feel very, very, very depressed, and I can't even get out of the bed. All of these different negative connotations about myself, and I got to the point where I didn't want to live anymore. Y'all know what suicide is? Yeah. What is suicide? What I think suicide means is when you don't want to be in, in this world anymore. Okay, go ahead. It's when you, it's when you stop feeling bad and it's like when you stop hearing things about you and you stop believing all about yourself. Mm -hmm. It makes you want to just not be on the and you try to kill yourself. But that's when I decided that I needed help. That's when I was able to go talk to somebody. And that's when I was able to tell somebody the thoughts and stuff that I was having. I was in a psychiatric hospital. I was in a straitjacket. And the reason why I was in there because I was too afraid to tell somebody what was going on with me because I didn't want them to call me crazy. I definitely feel like it's important to have a certified licensed professional to come address these issues because you want to be able to address them on the spot. You don't want to just send them home and then they feel like they're all alone and have to sit with these different emotions. So you want to be able to provide care for them at a particular time. And if you don't have that specific care for them that they actually need, you can absolutely provide them a resource where you can refer them out to. Let's take a deep breath. Three, two, one. We're going to blow it out for four. Four, three, two. In three, two, one, we all gonna do the same thing. Lift your head and your shoulders up, squeeze the back of your neck, because I know a lot of you text every day. So, three, two, one. Two, let's go. We're gonna get three more. Three, two. Now, breathing also helps with your digestive system. When we're inhaling, we're expanding our diaphragm. So the more you take in <coughs> air to your belly, you allow your food air to move around and breathe and start to digest properly. The goal for users outside of North Carolina is to establish mental health triage clinics where individuals can actually get the help that they need. Connected with Jim Star and he's been doing some amazing work here at Brownsville Collaborative Middle School. They wanted to bring it here, so why not? We first started off in Charlotte, North Carolina. Now we're in Brooklyn, and soon we're gonna be all over the nation. Five, four, three, two, relax. Everyone give yourself Breathing definitely helps us do 
amazing things. Every day I know we have, you know, our work, we have bills, we have a lot of problems maybe in our relationships, in our household, with the foods around us, with everything. So we want to have breathing as a, a way out real quick. Anger management programs, they say the same thing. The first thing you would do is take 10 deep breaths. If you find yourself getting a little angry for whatever reason, you want to try these exercises. Just relax, don't think about nothing, look completely through your problem, and it's gone. Good God, Jehovah, what's this I see? My mortality staring back at me. They don't know what I've been through, don't know what I preach. Seen shit that you see up in your TV screen. Follow me to salvation. Your mind's still up on plantations. The shepherd holds information. He gives it out as it's taken. Yeah. Sometimes I still hear voices. I'm gonna tell y'all that now. So it's not something that's a cure, right? Mm -hmm. But I have to find ways to manage. Y'all know how I manage? I color. I color every day. So this is one of the ways that I do it, but I also still go to therapy. But that's why I want you all to start coloring. I use coloring on a daily basis to reduce my stressors, just to zone out and incorporate some self-care into my daily life. It's very relaxing. It takes me back to when I was a kid, and we need to get back to some of those things that we used to do as a kid when we were free and we didn't have so many worries. Just like Mr. Jim Starr, he's teaching y'all how to breathe. All of these things are skills so that y'all can manage y'all stress, right? So y'all can keep y'all stress levels down. If you feel like you need to take a break in color, color, especially my adults because we don't do these things. But I want y'all to understand that whenever you get angry, whenever you feel like you're not in control, find other things where you can channel that energy into. Breathe first, then color, okay? okay. All right, if y'all ever need anything when it comes down to dealing with anything that's going on with your head, ask Miss Mo, can she get in contact with me, okay? Or ask Jim Star, can he get in contact with me, okay? What's up? Sean. Sean. Mr. Sean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>